This video is about how to earn EXP in World of Tanks uh, as quickly as possible. But I'm only going to focus on what is within the game, and I'm not going to focus on actual gameplay. Uh, so basically, we're going to go through all the menu options, and as you can see, some of the menus are going to have options such as premium time, the times three manageable bonus to experience, um, and personal reserves, clan reserves, etc. So, first of all, premium time gives you additional XP. It's approximately 50% more. You get the times three manageable bonus to experience. Times three on your base experience, which is the same as adding twice as much. And then you have options for personal reserves, and you have uh, personal reserves for EXP, and you have personal reserves for free experience. We're going to go back to this menu, and you see over here you have something called the clan reserve. With clan reserves, you can also earn experience and free experience when you have a battle. I own a clan, which means I can come over here and I can get a bonus to free experience, a bonus to crew experience, a bonus to XP, which is called combat experience. This is the one you're looking for and the free experience. And this is possible in random battles. It's not just for clan battles. You get these in random battles. You just get different amounts as compared to the clan battle. Having premium time is something that you can purchase. It gives you a bonus. However, there's also ways that you can win premium time. So then we're going to move on to here, which is the convert option. Over here, it pulls up a window, and it shows that I have vehicles that have accumulated combat experience. For example, my WZ-132, I've got 154,000, and I could pay 6,000 in gold to convert this into free experience. This is enough to level up a tank easily and to go through many modules. Uh, you, it does cost you gold. I got this gold through loot boxes. Uh, there's other ways to win gold, etc. Uh, but in general, you do have to pay for it. And you see over here, it says one gold equals 25. You can wait until they have a bonus where it's one gold equals 35. And I think I've even seen it higher at 45 or 40. But it will definitely be available for one gold equals 35. And if you have a lot, the smart thing to do is to wait. Okay, so then we're going to go to the store. And we're going to see what we can purchase. There's going to be a lot of interesting things. So over here we have the black market. That's not going to help you. And over here we have Dynasty Wars. That really doesn't help you. Uh, this is something that will be duplicated here. So we've got gold. You can use gold to convert your combat experience into free experience. Uh, that is basically elite tanks and premium tanks have the option of earning combat experience or accelerated crew training. Uh, you could purchase premium time. For example, you could purchase just one day. You could either pay cash or you could pay, in this case, 425 gold. And in some cases, you can use a coupon and get a discount. So the next thing you could do, you have different vehicles. We'll get more on that later. Uh, you have certain equipment, consumables, directives, etc. that earn EXP. Coded Optics earns you EXP because when you spot the enemy, you earn EXP for spotting the enemy and you earn uh, by getting spotting damage. So if you run this, you could earn EXP passively. The same thing with Binox. Uh, the same thing with events. These are all things that earn EXP. Just because you put it on your vehicle, it's going to give a slight increase to how much EXP you earn. Uh, with consumables, you can do the same thing. You could run a food consumable, which is going to increase your spotting range, which is going to earn you more EXP because you're going to spot more vehicles. In terms of directives, uh, the recon in force is going to earn you more EXP because you'll have extra time after you die in battle where you'll be earning EXP uh, 
because of spotting enemy tanks. So for example, if you rush an SPG and kill it and you die, I'm sorry, let's say you rush an SPG and you die, your allies will kill that SPG. You can earn additional EXP uh, by using recon and force because you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Focus on target earns additional EXP because it keeps enemy tanks spotted a few seconds longer. And then personal reserves, the obvious one is to run, uh, in this case, what's called a battle reserve or this one here, which is free experience. You, you want the combat XP or you could use the free XP. And this is bonds. Bonds buying vehicles really isn't going to help you. So you can go to the depot and you can check your stock and see if there's anything here that earns you additional EXP. One of them is blueprints. So you go to what's available for creating a fragment. You have lots of blueprints and lots of universal prints. I can go and I can create a fragment for one of these tanks uh, based on what's available for creating a fragment. And just pick one that I really don't want to uh like the stb1 i'm not that happy playing the tank that comes before it so it's likely that i will level that up to 113 i'm getting tired of playing the tier 9 so i can make a blueprint uh for that personal reserves we already discussed the other option is missions so you have special events this week's event is called dynasty wars and you have different prizes that's a rental vehicle this is a metal etc. Over here you see it says open reward for merit. Let's see what we get. I advanced a level and I got a 50% bonus to experience earned in battle for two hours. So that's by playing the game. You then have other missions and you'll notice going through the missions this has uh, a thumbs up for the dynasty <laughs> the dynasty wars event over here you see that we have something else it's called a token and you can win in this case personal reserves which gives you additional exp in battle and this one is free exp this one is crew uh, however if you get this type of token you see it's called tank rewards check the tank reward site this particular month, which is February 2020, you can get personal reserves by earning these tokens. And some of the tokens, like getting 50 tokens uh, for one Brothers in Arms award, that's really easy and it's really good. And you can do this to get that, plus uh, you can win premium time using tank rewards. Tank rewards is not available every month. However, They'll be available for maybe six months in a row, and then maybe for a while it might go away, but keep an eye on that. Uh, here's another case where you can win uh, combat reserves. This is for free EXP with the tank mastery mission. This is a case where you can win 25,000 combat EXP. You have to do it in a medium tank. You have to get 50,000 base experience. You have to follow whatever the mission says you do, and you win that prize. And then we have something here that says other mission. What this is saying is if I play my T92, I will get a five times combat experience multiplier until I run out. Uh, there's a certain amount that I'm allowed to play. It says completions left one. But when I began, it was like 20. And every game, it's been counting down until I only have one left. This should have more. You see, this one says eight because I don't play this tank as often. And I get the five times multiplier if I do that. And if you check, if you pick a specific vehicle, for example, I have the Valentine 2, which is right here, it will show you everything that's available for that particular vehicle. So now we're going to move on to campaigns. By completing campaigns, you can win premium time and you can win free EXP. So here's an example where if I complete this mission, I can win 4,000 free EXP. That's what the 4,000 means. Let's see if it better explains it. You see over here it says 4,000 free experience. And over here it says World of Tanks premium account for two days. So you can complete all these campaign missions. And not only that, 
compared to the ones on the left and the ones on the right, you can work on two at the same time. So you can come over here and you can work on this to get that 4,000. And at the same time, you can come over here and work on one of these to try and get whatever free EXP. Here's one for 5,000. So you could be working on both of those missions at the exact same time in the same game. Okay, so that was campaigns. We're going to move on to service record. You go over here to where it says vehicles, and you look at average XP per battle, and you see that I have this Churchill, which I get a lot of XP. 842 is really good in 210 battles. So if I play this vehicle, I can get lots of combat XP without using the accelerated crew training option. I'm going to show you where it is, which is right here. And then you use the convert option. You have to pay gold and you convert it to free XP and then you use the free EXP to research whatever you want to research in the tech tree. Okay, so that covers uh, most of everything. The other ways to do it are going to be gameplay related, having better skilled crew, uh, playing with friends who have high win rates, uh, doing a lot of damage in the game, etc. Uh, you'll see here a call for vengeance on my crew skill will give me more XP. Situational awareness will, recon will. Um, and there's going to be others. Okay, so that's uh, the majority of it. Uh, here's where you see the combat rations. And this directive, uh, you would choose a directive like uh, duty comes first. For equipment, you could use Vent Purge, you could use Optical Calibration. They will all passively increase your experience in the game. Uh, I believe we already spoke about this. We'll go through real quick. Uh, coded Optics will, Binox will, but you have to know how to use them. And Improved Vents will. And of course, uh, the Experimental Optics and the Venting System. Uh, the other way to do it is configuring your vehicle using high penetration tanks doing a lot of damage, doing a lot of penetrations, uh, spotting, killing, etc., gameplay, platooning with people that are really good, etc. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel.